I use the blur module in almost all my DV projects, but there are a few design issues that I run into every now and then. I'm Victor from dvmundo.com and in this tutorial I would like to share with you three fixes for common DV blurb spacing issues. You'll find all the snippets and resources needed in the blog post on divimundo.com and if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find the link in the description below. So I'll start by inserting a single column row using the Divi Visual Builder and I'll insert a blurb module into my row. Now these fixes will work regardless if you use an image or an icon here in the blurb, but I will use an icon in this example. So I'll head over to the image and icon tab and I'll choose use icon, yes. And we can choose a house icon in this example. Now I want to place this icon to the left of the blurb content. So to do that, I'll go to the design tab, image and icon and I'll change image icon placement from top to left. Now we see the first spacing issue. If I hover this row, you can see that there's a giant space to the left of the blurb and I want it to be left aligned. So to fix that, I'll go to the blurb settings by clicking the cogwheel. I'll go to the design tab and sizing. You might have thought that the model alignment is the answer, like left aligning it, but it doesn't make any difference at all. So I'll just reset that and go up to the content width field. Because Divi will set it to 550 pixels by default, and if I change that to 100% of the container width, you can see that it's now left aligned. Now, you might think that this is a bit wide if you're using this text field. And uh, to fix that and make it prettier, we can go to the spacing tab and the padding and the right padding. And I'll set that to maybe 50%. And now we have a nice tight blurb that's left aligned. Don't forget to check the mobile design settings here, because if I choose the responsive icon here, I can see how it looks in tablet. That looks pretty okay, but if I go to the small phone, that's not really good. So for phone, you would probably like to change the right padding from 50% to zero. Let's go back to the desktop mode to see the next two spacing issues. And they will appear if I change the sizing of the, the icon or the title in the blurb. So I'll head over to the blurb settings again by clicking the cogwheel. I'll go to design and image and icon. And maybe I want to have a smaller icon. So I'll drag this image icon width bar. And as it gets smaller, you can see that the distance gets bigger to the actual title. And this doesn't look too good. And also, if I want to change the sizing of this title, I can click the pen icon here as a shortcut. And let's drag it up a little bit bigger. I know this looks ugly, but just to, to show you the example here. Now you can see that they are not vertically centered anymore. So to fix this spacing and the vertical alignment, there are no options in the DV Visual Builder. We have to use some custom CSS. But don't worry, I will guide you through it. It's super easy. So first off, I want to set a custom CSS class to my blurb so that my changes won't affect every blurb on my website. So I'll head over to the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes, and I'll give it the class DM hyphen tight hyphen blurb. And I'll save it. So I need to add this class to every blurb that I want to have these fixes that we're going to do right now. And I'll head over to the theme customizer. And if you're editing the page, you can find it up here in the left corner under your site name, we have the theme customizer. If you're using the WordPress dashboard, you will find it under the Divi tab and theme customizer. To add my custom CSS, I'll head over to the additional CSS tab. Let's start by removing this excessive spacing between the icon and the text. And the reason for this space here is that Divi will add a 15 pixel left padding to the text. And I will override this by adding a CSS snippet from the blog post on divimundo.com. So don't blink. 
There we go. And I added a padding left of 5 pixels instead. And that's applied to the DM tight blurb. And then the class for the position left blurb design. And the ETPB blur container, which is this. You can adjust this. You could set it to zero if you don't want any padding at all. It will be really tight in there. Or you can actually increase it to 30 pixels if you want to have more spacing. But I'll go for 5 pixels in this example. So just remember that the default value of the padding here is 15 pixels. So that can be your starting point. Now we have the next spacing issue. And that's the vertical alignment here. That the icon and text is no longer center aligned when I adjust the title size. And to fix that, I will paste my second snippet from the blog post on divmondo.com. And we go one, two, and three. And what I did here was to add some top padding for the icon, in this case six pixels, that will push it down a little bit. You can of course play around with this number, you can increase it, maybe I want to have 20 pixels. And if you go back to zero pixels, that's the same as the default value. So I guess that wouldn't make too much sense. But I think six pixels looks good in this example. Now we can just publish the changes and we can preview the page in front end. And here is my new tight blurb. That's all for today. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and subscribe on the channel for more good stuff coming your way. Thanks for watching.